Hi everyone, in front of me I've got a Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus and let me share with you how to enable Google Backup on this device. So first of all let's enter the settings and now let's tap on About Phone which should be at the very top. Now let's tap on Backup and Restore option and scroll down. As you can see right here we've got a whole Google Backup section and all we have to do is to simply tap on Backup Account in order to add it. If for some reason this option is turned off in your case, no worries. It is only because this backup my data option is off as you can see we cannot tap on it so just tap on it here and um and tap on the switcher as you can see the backup account is active so let's tap on it and make sure that we've got the internet connection because it is required for this operation mm, and from this step we can either create a new account if you do not have your own yet or simply type your email or phone so let me do it uh, what's more, a quick disclaimer, you do not have to enter the full email address, just the very first part of it, which is before the add symbol. As you can see after that, your device will autofill it. Uh, so now let me uh, take the phone and enter the password. All right, uh, let's tap on next. Here we have to decide who will be using this device, so I'll stick with the first option. And uh, here we've got Google Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. So of course, if you want to, you can read them. Just tap on it and here we've got all the info. Let's tap on I agree after reading. Here we've got the shortcut of backup and storage info. So just tap on accept because we will uh, have this step right here. Uh, it's much more uh, clear, I would say. Um, so here you can learn that you are able to use 15 gigabytes of uh, Google account uh, to storage and backup apps and apps data, call history, contacts, device settings, and also text messages. You can, of course, have more, more details to learn more. Uh, your device will backup the hand data automatically, will store it securely, and you will be able to backup, uh, to manage the backup easily. So, uh, so that's quite cool. Of course, if you don't want to backup the data right now, no worries, just tap on not now. And if you decide that you want to, uh, you will be transferred directly to this step. So you do not have to go through the whole operation of adding the account. So just tap on turn on. As you can see here in this Google backup section, we've got our account added, which simply means that from now on your device will backup the data on this particular account. So actually, this is it. This is how to enable Google backup in your um, in your Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.